McKillen today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 room build today and so today I'm currently making a kids room with functioning bunk beds by using platforms because if you haven't heard five days ago the Sims team updated their game with giving us platforms, half walls, sentiments, and a whole other bunch of things. But the one key feature that I was really, really, really excited for were platforms. And if you don't remember a couple years ago, in the Sims community, we have been making functioning bunk beds by using a control nine key by raising the beds off of the ground and making them look like bunk beds. But then after that, we got an update which broke that. But now moving back to 20, like moving forward to 2020, we now have platforms and us simmers are now making new and creative builds, room builds, and making them work for us. And a few people I remember have been making like bunk beds from the platforms. And I'll show you at the end of this video on how to make bunk beds by using the platforms. I'm not entirely sure if the legacy edition sim players get this update. I'm not entirely sure, but in case you do, I will show you at the end of this video. All the time codes are down below, just in case you wanna skip ahead in certain parts of the video, just in case you wanna watch this portion. But I will tell you a little bit about this room and the story behind it, because you already know, in all my videos that I have done, I always tell a story about the build. Even when it's a room build, which I haven't done in over like two years, which is quite crazy think, to think about, I haven't done a room build in like two years. And that's saying something, because I felt like with room builds, they're always so flat and they're boring. You can't really do much, not really unique. You can make them unique, but platforms gives that like that elevated look of like, oh, it's brand new, it's, it's exciting, new things are happening. But the one thing that's difficult about the platforms and you wanna upload like a house or an apartment, you technically can't do that because the platforms count as a separate room. And so it's kind of hard to do that, but I wanted to be able to be creative and see what I could come up with. And I don't know if you guys want this room, I could upload into separate parts, but I feel like that'd be kind of weird, so I probably won't. I'm not entirely sure. We'll just have to see. But hopefully there's an easier way to upload rooms with platforms without having to upload them separately. Cause that'll be kind of very confusing. Like for the people who upload or the people who upload like um, platform builds and upload them separately, it, it'll be kind of hard to like understand what goes where and what's like the first piece. You know what I mean? It's like apartments. You just delete the walls where the doors are and upload the entire apartment as a room and just, re and just put the walls back where the doors are when you download it. So it's like, how can we make this work with platforms? So that's like my whole key thing. Like how are we going to make it work? But nevertheless, I think it's a kind of a cool concept of doing an elevated look to a room or a kitchen or a living room or whatever in your house. So the next build you probably will be seeing is a very large mini mansion by using platforms because I went a little bit crazy in my save file working on a build next to the goth household and it's only base game and I kid you not, it's not done. It's almost done. But best believe that house looks pretty snazzy if I do say so myself a lot better with platforms. So I just want to let you all know now platforms in every build from now on for the for all eternity until the end of time. Just letting, just, just letting you know. OK, OK. Anyway, so for the backstory of this build, I was thinking of having like a teenager, but also a kid living in this room. And like the teenager lives up on the top part of the of the room and the kid lives on the bottom portion. And I already have a Sim family in mind that I want to put in here because I had recreated my BitLife family in The Sims. And if you don't know what BitLife is, it's like a life simulation game, but through text on your phone for Apple and Android. And I've been obsessed with BitLife lately that I'm like, I want to see if I can recreate my family lineage in The Sims 4 and try to replicate, you know, you know, like the play style, like BitLife controls my Sim type of thing, but in build like in the build mode portion like you know what I mean like stuff like that with the heirlooms and all the creative items I could put into it it was like buying cars and you know starting drama for no reason stuff like that so overall I make my bit life family in the sims 4 and I have my teenager Alex Ricardo and Susan Ricardo living in this room Susan lives downstairs 
Alex lives upstairs and he's about to go to college and I want to be able to kind of give him that mature city living vibe to it. So but using the brick from city living and also that DIY wall mirror garage door on the wall. And I don't know if it's entirely functional if I put it that way, just because I haven't actually tested it out. But I will. But I will show you at the end of the video on how to make functioning bunk beds. And I honestly didn't really know if I was going to make it work very well because it, it is a very small room and platform, platforms are a little bit buggy right now. And I think they're going to be updating the game by next week. So today's Sunday. So we should be getting the update this week of fixing the platform issues, the crashes that people have been having. So hopefully when... I do a build tutorial step-by-step step on how I build my house in The Sims 4. Things should be fixed with no issues. Cross my fingers. Just saying. But I basically kind of just wanted to be able to explain that platforms are a thing and can make functioning bunk beds without using custom content. And I, for one, am a CC hoarder. CC at, at its finest. I love using CC, but not in build mode because I upload so much to the gallery. It just didn't make any sense of using it in my builds. So I'm going to show you. And for sure, for sure, it's going to happen. And I think for the future of The Sims 4, we're slowly improving with like build mode, gameplay, cast items, like skin tones are like going to be updated in December. And we're getting new gameplay features here and there and new build features here and there. Like platforms are like literally the best thing ever to it happen in The Sims 4. Besides toddlers, seasons, and some other things, but platforms, like I'm just saying, if you have made a platform only build or have used platforms in your Sims game, definitely put them in our Discord server. I will have the link down below in the description to my platform, um, my platform builds I've done, but also my Discord server. So you can join, join the fun and share your builds with us because I want to see what you all have done lately because honestly, The Sims 4 right now is thriving and that's what we like to see, thriving in The Sims community in The Sims 1 through 4. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the real-time tour of this room and also do a tutorial on how to basically make bunk beds in The Sims 4 by using platforms. So now that we're into the real-time tour of this video, I want to come here and say that platforms are probably my favorite thing that we've ever gotten in The Sims 4 because this build right here didn't take me that long to build. But also, it's my favorite build that I've built thus far by using platforms. The first one that I did, to be exact, because I knew for a fact that I would go crazy with platforms, but I didn't think functioning bunk beds were a thing until I tried it out for myself. But... Nevertheless, this room right here is definitely a kid slash teen bedroom combo because the kids room is down on the first floor and then the teen bedroom is on the second floor. And it's all on one floor, to be honest. Like, let me just say, this room is all one floor. I built one wall and a platform and that is it. But however, the one issue that I had with this room is that I can't upload it to the gallery because the platform makes it a separate room. So it's a little bit difficult uploading platform only room builds to the gallery. But like I said, this room is pretty good, pretty cluttered, pretty kid room, teen friendly. I also added in the small TV from Eco Lifestyle that you can get from the dumpster. And I thought it was a perfect fit for a teenager, especially on the second floor. And then I also added the DIY mural garage door from City Living, which is also another touch for the brick wall here. But the one thing that you probably clicked on this video for is the functioning bunk bed part. And let me tell you, it works perfectly fine. So I have my sim here, Tyler O'Neill, and he's gonna go and sleep on the very top bunk of his room. And I'm gonna show you, it works perfectly fine. Look at him, look at him go. Walking up those stairs like nobody's business in his slippers, he goes ahead and hops right on into his bed on the second level on this room. Like, look at this, look at this, this room, all one level, I just use the platform to give it an elevated look and it works perfectly fine. So now I'm gonna show you how to make functioning bunk beds by using the platforms in build mode by using the platform tool. And honestly, 
It's not that hard to make a functioning bunk bed by using the platforms because all you have to do is use the force tool, which is the platform tool. I'm gonna do a four by three. Yeah, four by three for the platform because that's what I used for the top part up here. I used the raise platform button to raise up off of the ground a little bit higher than normal. I also used some stairs to add to the front part of it. I added some, some of the beds from different packs and I copied and pasted it right here. And the really cool trick that you have to do basically for this is I'll place it so it can kind of get to, to the same like position of the bottom bed. So it looks like a bunk bed type of thing. So I'm all placing everything. It's a little bit finicky, but it's totally worth it. You gotta go to the very edge of the platform to make it work. And that being right there, it looks pretty fine to me. And so I'm gonna use my test sim here real quick. And you can you can put walls around and make it decorative and cool. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm using a simple thing. It works perfectly fine. So I'm gonna have Tyler come out here real quick. Come on, don't be shy. There we go. And then I'm gonna have him go ahead and go sleep on the top bunk here. Tyler's walking on up to the second part of the platform, going to his bed, changing to his sleepwear, and bada bing, bada boom, baby. Functioning bunk beds by using platforms. Literally all you gotta do is all place it very carefully to get it to the correct position of the bottom bunk. Honestly, if you use platforms in your build, I think you should definitely do it now to make those functioning bunk beds, especially for the 100 baby challenge because when you have 100 babies, you need space. So best believe to use bunk beds with platforms to have your unique space for your demon children. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and actually end this video off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.